I made a slot here and another one here for the drive for the take up. I'll put some string on the pulley on the motor and bring that round to the pulley that will be on the arm um, and see whether that clears the gaps, if not enlarge them and then tidy those up. Now with regard to the original shutter, because we're going to be running at 32 frames a second, we don't need a three bladed shutter, a single bladed shutter. would perhaps do the job giving us 32 dark periods and 32 light periods every second. Um, but 32 isn't great, so I think we'll have a double bladed shutter, two blades. Uh, one for the to cover the pull down of the film and then instead of these two, another one, same size as this, opposite we should gain a little bit of light with the two bladed rather than the three and um, I'll make it out of Bristol ball because when you're hand cranking a projector if you're turning the handle you're reasonably safe from the shutter because you're turning it with the right ha your right hand not as I'm doing now but with your right hand and then if you stop turning, the machine more or less stops, so you're not going to put your hand into the shutter accidentally. Whereas we're going to motorise this, and it's running at twice the normal silent movie speed, so the 32 frames a second with this whizzing round, I think the sensible thing is to make the replacement, the main shutter replacement with um, Bristol board, it's in cardboard. Um, just in case, which would still give you potentially uh, a nasty experience if you've got your hand in the way, but uh, not as nasty as this metal shutter which would potentially cut your fingers off, so I think that's the first thing to do, and then um, I'm just ordering up some red and green filter for the colour shutter which will be going in front. And this, I fitted this piece to here, which will support the colour shutter riser, which comes up here. It couldn't be fixed directly to the box because it was too close to the standard shutter, so I put this spacer in. So I've got the string on the outer small pulley now. Going up and out. And... I think this is okay. I think there's enough clearance there. This one's not far off, but it's a little too tight, I think. So just a bit more off of here. And then those slots will do. Taking the mechanism off the box for the moment. Let's get the oil cap off. And there isn't evidence of very much oil in there. What I'm going to do first is put some plus gas in, drain that out and hopefully that will take any nastiness that's still in there with it. Here it is and I'm fully expecting there to be an awful mess. Well, I've poured it in and swilled it around and I'm now just turning over the machine. leave it for a bit and then pour it out. Well it's coming out a different colour and consistency to what it went in. It's definitely darker. I shall be using this Hyperlube oil. I've used it in the cross box of a similar projector project and it seemed to be fine. Well, of course, I don't give the machines the kind of use that they will have or would have had originally. Um, but that's going in there. And I don't know how much to put in, but I guess 
if I fill the cross box about one third full if it's too much it will spray out and um, I think it will be enough to, to ensure a certain level of protection so let's hope so I've put a plate on the feed arm um, just to reinforce that the fact that that's actually a wooden arm um, with that screwed up tight that gives a very square objective spindle here I think one plate's okay because this is a fixed spindle it doesn't have to turn so I think one plate there is okay that all seems to be pretty good I've now fitted a plate which is actually a bearing plate really to this take up because this spindle has to turn in the take up arm um, so there'll be another plate the other side, these two on this one. And to stop the thread in the studding from chewing up the bearing, um, over this section I'm going to smooth some epoxy maraldite over the threading. So that's what's actually turning around. Uh, obviously not a proper engineering job, but this is going to get so little use I'm sure it will be fine. Now to make the other plate. 